friends, it's Krabs here and we're playing some Space Engineers! Today we are going to be building a Stuka Dive Bomber. So sort of like in the same theme of our last build where we built a generic biplane. We're actually going to make a specific plane this time and it turned out pretty damn well actually. So, we're starting off with the same sort of pattern as we did with the biplane by building the prop and then the main fuselage. But when it comes to the fuselage, this is where we start getting a bit different. With the JU-87, the Junkers uh, Stuka, you had this sort of cockpit that was protruding out from the top and it had you know, the glass and whatnot. So I wanted to come up with a similar effect and so I used grates to make that uh, protruding uh, cockpit out of, out of uh, the fuselage. Another typical feature of the Junkers 87 is the inverted gull wings and it's kind of hard to replicate that in the voxel game. You can imagine with squares and diagonals, but luckily there are diagonals in the game. And it turned out pretty well. You can see that the, the inverted gull wings, I mean, it's not perfect, but it's close enough. It's close enough that you can do in a voxel game. With the tail portion, I made it quite similar to the biplane, but the biplane had a lot of catwalks going on. Rather, I wanted to keep it in the same design with the rest of the plane this time by just using blocks. The underside I painted white because if you can imagine if you're doing daytime bombing then if you had a white undercarriage you'd be harder to spot up in the sky. You'd sort of mix in with the clouds if anything. Uh, I know that's kind of unrealistic to do this in space like oh yeah there's clouds in space. Well there actually are gas clouds and whatnot but you get what I'm saying. There are typical white fluffy clouds not really so but uh, it's a space aeroplane if that makes sense. I also put in a turret at the back and this is for essentially two people, one person flying the plane and the second person who's going to use the back gunner turret and it's pretty kick ass because it's fully rotatable 360, it can move up and down but you got to be a bit careful when you're shooting with it because it, uh, it bounces back quite a bit. And this is built off of a small ship, alright, so it's been attached to the large ship, the main body, by uh, via landing gear. Now, one last thing, I mean you can't call this a dive bomber without actually having some bombs. So I put in landing gear so you can land, but also landing gear on the sides and covered them up a little bit, because these will hold, lo and behold, the bombs, or should I say warheads, perhaps a bit more destructive. And I covered up the landing gear portions that hold the bombs with these small uh, small ships essentially and hooked them up to a larger ship via landing gear again and just makes it look nicer. Sort of takes out all the gaps and whatnot. Finally I put on some engines, a bunch of them in the back, also some on the, the, the wings and the underside, but you, you can't see that right now. And this just gives it functionality. I mean, fair enough, you have the prop at the front and that that spins, <laughs> but this is space and you need a bit of propulsion, uh, as they say. I also covered up the engines with catwalks to mix it in a bit better with the tail portion. So, sort of just in the same sort of uh, fashion as the biplane, having those catwalks. And the internals I decided to stuff into the wings this time and the biplane it was mostly in the hull but that's because the wings were just catwalks they're paper thin so this time they're gonna be kept inside the wings the gyroscopes and the reactors and whatnot but I thought the biggest difficulty was actually making the prop because typically uh, Junkers 87 has a three blade prop unfortunately you can't really make three blades look too well and space engineers so I had to cut it a little bit uh, on the unrealistic side if it wasn't unrealistic already and I put in four blades for the prop so that's the building of the Junkers 87 now it's time to play around all right so here we are this is the Junkers AU, AU uh, Junkers 87 and it's full glory take a look I, I to be honest with you guys I don't think that that's half bad I think if you look at this thing, you would pretty much think that it would be uh, a Junkers 87. That's not bad at all. It's got its warheads attached, you can see with the green landing gear over here. And what I've done uh, is I've actually extended this 
portion out. So we'll do a landing uh, to show you guys what it's like, how you got the uh, lower landing gear at the back and how you'll sort of set it up like a JU-87 wood and war thunder or whatever, real life. And I've also fitted in a reloading station over here. So I'm gonna show you guys that in turn. What we're gonna do first is we're gonna send off these bombs and I'll show you guys what it's like. And actually even before that, I'll quickly show you what the turret's like. So this is the turret at the back here. You have your friend that can get in. And say if you're having a dogfight with another Junkers 87, because that's just what happens, or say a biplane, whatever it might be, a spaceship. Uh, your friend can go in the back here and select the gun and just fire. Now, see, I'm not going to move my mouse at all. All I'm going to click. Yeah, see, this is one problem with the turret. Because it's so small and the guns are so powerful, it's got a lot of kickback, so much that it just projects you upwards. So you got to sort of fight against it or go in short bursts to sort of fight against it. Uh, I can't really think of a solution for this because just the reason why it's bouncing like this is because the turret is so light and the guns are just so powerful. Uh, it's just pushing it all the way back, but that's what it is. We've also got a small reactor in the back over here and you can easily gain access to the rotor. So I've turned the rotor on and that's driving the propeller. That's a four bladed propeller by the way. <laughs> I know it looks kind of weird on the Junkers, but that's what it is. And we've also got a staircase down here, uh, so you can just jump on in if you ch so choose to. Alright, so let's go ahead and fly this thing. I'm hoping we can have a bit of success bombing the uh, ship, because the way that this thing works is the bombs are on the underside of the plane, alright? So you have to aim a bit above your target if you're going to get the uh, bombs to actually crash, okay? So let's gain a bit of speed. This thing admittedly isn't the fastest thing ever, but that's because it doesn't have a lot of engines. If you wanted to edit it, you could freely just add in as many engines as you want. And uh, it's going to be on the Steam Workshop if you guys want to download this thing. So let's start flying forward like a GU87 would. And we're going to drop our bombs now by disengaging the landing gear. And here it goes. Okay. We gotta fly away. Fly away, Krebsy. The bombs are inbound. Shit, I think one might miss. Oh, oh, no! They both hit. Direct hit. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, look at that. Just like a, a Junkers, isn't it? Diving down and then swooping. Swooping uh, out, of, out of the way. Holy shit. I think we just lost something critical there. <laughs> uh, okay, I see what happened. We lost uh, we lost some of the covers on the landing gear. It's no big problem. Actually, we lost our turret at the back as well. I'll tell you why that happened. It's because we rotated a bit too quickly. Um, yeah, we rotated a bit too quickly. So, <laughs> it's actually no big loss. We can still keep on flying without it. Uh, just one thing that you have to note is make sure you don't, uh, yeah, turn too quickly on uh, with your mouse. All right, so I'm going to show you guys now the reloading procedure of the Junkers. And it's not very realistic, to be honest. I mean, a Junkers isn't going to really do a, <laughs> a vertical landing, if anything. But this is, this is space Junkers. This is as real as it gets in space. And so basically what I did with these bomb bays down here, reloading bays, is that I've matched it up to the measurements of where the the landing gear for the bombs are, the warheads is. And so all you gotta do essentially is line yourself on up. And I'm gonna push myself a bit forward. You gotta line yourself on up and just attach those those bombs to your plane. So we're getting closer in here. And you could imagine if you were using this thing, I know it would be kind of troll and there's probably more efficient designs of spacecraft out there and whatnot, but you could imagine if you had people working on the ground, they could be reloading the bombs. And in fact, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reload the bombs here. I'm gonna show you guys how to reload the bombs as well. If you're one of the ground crew on this thing. So we're getting in position here. 
Okay, we've got that one attached up. What about this one over here? No, not yet, not yet. We gotta get a bit closer. Oh, we just had both there. There we go. And we're locked and loaded. And here we go. We're ready for our next pass. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you guys if you're the crew on the ground, how you can reload or make more bombs. I know you could, you might be thinking, oh, well, you could just attach something to here, you know, you could put this piston down or something and then make another bomb. It doesn't quite work like that, though, because if you do that, your your Junkers will be stuck because you're essentially just attaching to the rest of this platform, um, even if you disconnect the bomb from the rest of the platform. It just uh, something that Space Engineers needs to improve on. I think it's like a bug or a glitch or whatever and doesn't fully work as it's supposed to. So what you do is you just go into position here, you make a new large ship, Oop. new large ship just like that, and two warheads or whatever, and there you go. You've got your next bomb, and you just do the same thing on the other side over there. Okay, so let's go do a landing and make this thing actually look like a Junkers. Oh god, it's so malformed right now, because uh, we lost a bit of pieces. Like I said, just don't just don't uh, turn around too quick. And sorry if the screen is flashing there. It's just because when we go in front of the prop, I think just every now and then when it turns, uh, the camera catches, catches it or something. So, yeah. All right. So let's land this thing and set it up like uh, a Junkers, I guess. Let's back up a little bit more. Almost there. Almost there. Just so we can see this thing in its full glory from the ground. Alright. Down we go. We're going to try to touch with our back landing gear. And then that will adjust with the uh, landing gear at the front. There we go. There you have it. Now we're just going to lock ourselves into place. Alright, let's go take a look at this thing then, eh? And we'll turn off our jetpack, actually. So, uh... <laughs> the ladder's right up there. It's kind of hard to reach. I guess you're gonna have to turn your jetpack on for that. Um, but here we go. Alright, let's, let's... Stand a bit back so we can see this thing. There you go. Can't really see the cockpit from here. But that's the Junkers 87. Built-in space engineers. That doesn't look too bad, does it? That does not look too bad, I think. Junkers 87. So, anyway guys, this is going to be up on the Steam Workshop. You can feel free to download it, pass it on to your friends. And if you enjoyed this, please leave a like. <laughs> Until the next one, this is Krebsy, and I'll catch you guys later.